oil palm is from West Africa, and most of the places where it actually is used for in commercial circumstances is in Indonesia and Malaysia. And so uh, animals like uh, the Malayan sun bear, elephants, orangutans, a range of uh, very rare birds, uh, many hornbill species, for example, amphibians, reptiles. There, it's a really diverse area. And with the success of oil palm production in Indonesia and Malaysia, it's now going back to West Africa, where there is even more drive to increase the number of plantations there. So there you've got different from chimpanzees, African elephants, lions. It's becoming a worldwide problem. So the ideal environment for most of the wildlife uh, is what we call primary rainforest, which is where um, the forest has not ever been harvested for wood or has not been cleared and then allowed to regenerate. And there is very little of that now left in uh, either Indonesia or Malaysia. The ideal habitat for orangutans, for example, is um, uh, an extensive forest home. They, they eat many hundreds of varieties of different fruit, vegetables, um, leaves, bark, flowers, uh, insects. And that diversity which they rely on for food throughout the, the seasons of the year um, is drastically reduced with palm oil plantations. When you see photographs before palm oil and before hardwood production, where you see this wonderful forest, the forest trees would close as a canopy over the river tributaries. So that means you get a patch of land, then a little river, and another patch of land. The animals like the orangutans and the monkeys and bears as well could transfer from one place to the other. Since hardwood production and now palm oil has grown, um, those areas have either the trees are too short to be able to form that same bridge or you have palm oil plantation on one side making there's no point in crossing the river. Oil palm plantations have to work as a monoculture and what that means is unlike many other plants they cannot have other plants around them as they're growing and fruiting which produces the palm nuts which we get the palm oil from. That means that when forest or land is cleared to produce palm oil nothing other than oil palm can go in that area so it drastically reduces the area available for wildlife. They're not able to utilize the area where the palm oil is, is growing. Uh, so it's for the majority of amphibian and reptile species, things like Malayan sun bears. And then you have animals like the um, Bornean elephants that are actually coming into conflict with the palm oil plantation owners. So it makes life a lot harder for them. But it doesn't have to be either or. That's where sustainable palm oil comes in allows for good production of palm oil while providing a more diverse environment. So part of the definition of a sustainable palm oil plantation involves the owners of those palm oil plantations making sure that there are what we call forest corridors either adjacent to their land or sometimes even through their land so that animals can move from one patch of forest to the other. It also includes that they have to monitor the animals that are passing through and sometimes harvesting the palm oil in that area and also maximizing the production of the palm oil in that area so they don't have to continue to clear fell areas of forest. So all three of those things um, uh, help um, maintain the biodiversity and maintain the numbers of species in the area that are supporting sustainable palm oil plantations. So as Chester Zoo we are assisting our colleagues working out in the field helping create wildlife corridors I mentioned. So for us to be able to make a sustainable difference in this particular area Sustainable palm oil is the way to go.